The Biden administration's Family Expedited Removal Management, FERM, program has recently come under fire for its ineffectiveness, as revealed by a shocking report. According to the New York Post, a staggering 90% of migrants enrolled in the program, designed to expedite the deportation process, have been allowed to remain in the United States. This means that out of 24,000 migrants marked for deportation, only 2,600 have actually been deported, leaving more than 21,000 still in the country. Launched in May 2023, the FERM program was intended to address the high number of family units apprehended at the border, which has exceeded 840,000 since the program's inception. However, the program's success rate has raised serious concerns among lawmakers and the public alike, with many questioning the administration's commitment to enforcing U.S. immigration laws. Top officials and critics, including Republican House Speaker Mike Johnson, are calling for immediate action to rectify the failing program and ensure that immigration laws are upheld. This controversy adds to the ongoing debate over border security and immigration policy in the United States.